Now decals on the engines don't work in the same way as decals on the tail or the fuselage for example. It's a completely unique method. So let's dive into that right now. Now in the description of this video you will find a zip download link and upon downloading it the zip will be called 747 engine paint kit Adi. This is a paint kit that I have made for painting the 747 engines for the non-mirroring method. Take this zip, bring it to your project folder and extract it. In it you will find a substance painter file, a FBX file and a PNG file. The PNG file is just the upscale texture of the engine. The paint kit FBX is for you to use in Blender if you are a Blender user. But if you have substance painter I highly recommend using the paint kit and that's what I'll use for today. So let's open it up. Now when you first open it you should see something like this of course your windows may be differently arranged but this is how I've arranged them and you should see a model like this one right here. Now if you look at the texture set list which will show you the materials you have engine body and engine body 0. I've only kept two engines instead of four because the one that is here which is a uh, engine body will also be the same material for the one that is out here somewhere. So it's just two engines since we don't actually need four but it will work for all four so you don't need to worry about that now in here i've added a color element so you can actually change the color of the engine if you have a base color on it but if you don't have that which i don't today uh, i'll just keep this empty so it's just the default white from the base now here i'll be adding a logo and how about we just add the general electric logo all right here it is we have the png now let's import in the png into our project there we go and now we can add a paint layer change this to orthographic view look at it from the side and then make it a projection use the projection tool with color only enabled and let's add the logo just like that and now as you can tell and now as you can tell this is on engine body not engine body zero so we need to do the same thing with the other engine Let's add a paint layer, approximately match the size of this one. And location as well. So this one was just about there. Now as you can see, we have both engines with the general electric logo but not flipping and on the outside. Now I know this is only in Substance Painter and there's a lot more work outside Substance Painter but now we have our two textures ready. If you look here, there's one where GE is flipped and in engine body, it is straight. Oops. As you can tell, there's a difference between these two. So now we'll export both of these textures select GLTF actually it doesn't matter here since we're only exporting the base color element we'll go with 1496 since we don't really need that big of a one let's export this all right it has been exported here we have our two textures Now we'll rename these uh, a bit later. Let's get back to that in a bit. For now, we'll just copy these into our uh, template. Now begins the work with the model. So if we go to our dev livery builds where we had earlier made, uh, where we had earlier taken our livery decals, edited that in Visual Studio Code and then merged it. And these are the ones currently in our uh, model folders. If you go back to our livery decals and if you're working on an engine, you need to do a bit more work in Visual Studio Code. So let's do that now. Change it to JSON. 
and go all the way down until you go to until you find images here you're gonna wanna copy this part right here just the one under the curly brackets give a comma to this, uh, the last curly bracket and then paste it here we're gonna change the name from livery decals to engine body 0 then copy the textures bit with the blue curly uh, brackets add a comma in the ending and then paste it again change source from 0 to 1 for the second one save this close it and now do the node build.js command here we have now uh, the newer uh, merged files with uh, what we just added right here if uh, I'll show you quickly what we added right here with the engine body 0 and the texture 1 part is now also in here we now need to edit these in Visual Studio Code the ones in the out page and as you can see they're very messy there's no organization whatsoever it's just completely random text this is how Asobo uh, compiles their uh, their models and if you open any official uh, Asobo model such as the 747 you'll see it being messy like this but this can be cleaned up and there's a link in the description that you'll find which will take you to a Japanese page it's the fastest one I could find there are English ones as well but uh, this is one that a friend sent to me and it's extremely fast it's called a JSON beautifier what you do is you copy all of this text control A control C then hit backspace paste it in here click on this button with the arrow copy what's in here control A control C paste it back in the GLTF now it's much more readable and you can actually now convert it to JSON just like that now you can see everything here you can tell it's much 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 easier to read you know what's going on here exactly and as you can see in the ending usually we would just have livery decals but now we also have this new texture engine body 0 and if we go to the textures bit this is a bit confusing here but uh, there are a few new uh, elements that have been added for our livery decals and for our engine body 0 now we're gonna go to the materials section so control F materials here it starts with fuselage we're gonna look for engine body not engine body 0 engine body the default material for the engines here it is let's copy this part and now we'll look for control F livery decals it should bring you to the material of livery decals here in the uh, curly bracket add a comma go to the next line and paste it then remove the curly uh, the, the comma in front of the curly bracket in after engine body you then want to add a zero in front of engine body so it becomes engine body zero you have just added a new material and now we need to assign it that new texture which is uh, engine body zero airframe whatever was in the ending this one this one right here you need to basically assign it this texture this texture to that material and then we need to assign that material to the objects it may sound very confusing right now but trust me it will make a lot more sense in just a minute so let's go back to our material that we have just added we need to change this number basically so here as you can see for livery decals the index for uh, the base color is 92 therefore since livery decals uh, just after livery decals we have the uh, engine body zero texture we need to make this 93 so 92 93 perfect now we're going to open our uh, our export dot blend which is just these models right here let's take one of the decals so we're going to look for text so control f text okay looks like text may come up inside vertex type so we'll have to choose a different one let's just go for plain here it is plain so as you can tell this is 38 and plain which is this one 
is using livery decals and the one just after livery decals in the materials list is engine body zero so what we need to do now is find the mesh of the right hand side engines and change the material number to 39 i hope this makes sense you might need to rewatch this and i'm honestly kind of struggling to explain it since it is kind of confusing even for me at times but it does become simpler the more times you do it so try rewatching this bit if you didn't understand it now i know for a fact that the engines on the right side of the aircraft their name is x0 underscore reactor underscore inner underscore right now inner right and then we have outer right as well so for inner right you'll have 74 instances probably you want to go to the last one and it will bring you okay we don't need to see the frost we need the regular one there we go so second last one 73 out of 74 and in here you will find many materials so there's one two three four five six here the third one which is 14 here is the engine body material now the reason i can tell you it's the third material out of the six is well i'll show you let's import the 747 model here it is let's hide the armature and the collision model and select our engine reactor inner right and if we go to our material properties we can see that there are one two three four five six materials one two three four five six yeah let me just make this a bit bigger there we go and the third one is engine body of course one object can have more than one materials which is what is going on here but the third one in the list is engine body and we need to change this to engine body zero which is our own engine material so you're gonna change material here from 30 from 14 to 39 as we have seen earlier so it becomes 39 now and now we need to do the same thing for reactor outer right and this will become the sixth one sorry the third one one two three fourteen will become 39 save this now probably the most painful part of making a engine decal is that you have to follow the same thing that i showed you with lod 00 with 01 02 03 04 05 sorry not 05 06 and the annoying part is that the numbers such as 14 39 38 will all be different for each and every single lod since they all have lesser materials as you go down the list i won't be demonstrating anything other than lod 00 which i've already done so far let's just skip to the next part of this so if we go to our project folder we have our base colors here that we got from uh, substance Inventor earlier let's now open these with uh, photoshop all right now let's save these as dds's in our texture folder of our livery You'll just add a zero in front of this one just like that this is exactly the name that we put into the uri section when we were editing the livery decals dot gltf just underneath uh, livery decals texture just underneath uh, this name we had also added uh, engine body but with a zero in the ending so just put that exact same one and save it Now you can copy the DDS JSON of the engine body, paste it, and change everything except, oh sorry, in the copy, we'll change, just add, just add a zero in the ending, just that's the only change you need to do to this. And there we go. Now we can update our layer.json, open this in game, make sure to put the, uh, this, uh, LOD 00 that is the one which I've edited I haven't edited any of these 
but you need to if you are making a livery for the community this is just for demonstration so LOD00 and let's paste this into here and paste this into here and then update the layout dot json found here select msfs community select the livery click ok click save as save this replace it and now we're ready to launch the sim and check out the engines so i'm in the simulator now and let's go into showcase camera and check it out now as you can see here on the left side sorry on the right side it says general electric and it's straight and if we go to the opposite side it is also straight and the same thing has been done to this engine the outer ones and both sides it's really just the right ones that we have edited in the text left ones still use the engine body default texture right ones are using the engine body zero material and texture